Today's tutorial is inspired by FX Crystal in her latest photo shoot with Etude House. This look is very suitable for summer and spring time, so if you want to get this look, let's get started. First, I'm going to apply foundation and here I'm using the Innisfree Mineral Melting Foundation which is my favorite. And I'm going to apply this using the Real Technique brushes, so I'm just going to dot it on my face. And then I'm going to take this contour brush from the Real Technique baseline and I know it's very rare for me to use a contour brush to blend out my foundation. It gives really nice airbrush finish, it doesn't cause any streaking and I'm so madly in love with this contour brush. I'm not going to use any type of under eye concealer for today's look because I want it to be really natural so I'm just going to take the same foundation and apply this on my under eyes. Next, apply concealer. Here I'm using the Innisfree Mineral Perfect Concealer. I love this concealer so much. It has medium to full coverage, you guys. It's really amazing. It covers up my dark spots, my acne scarring, my sunspots, everything else. I really love this. And the consistency and the texture overall really reminds me of the MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer in NC20. And that's why I really, really like this concealer. And next, I'm going to set my foundation and my concealer. So I'm just going to take this powder from Etude House and I'm just going to dab it all over my face. And then I'm going to prime my eyelid using this eyeshadow primer from Etude House and it's a proof 10 eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. Rather than using concealer, I actually like to use eyeshadow base to hide the veins on my eyelid. So I'm just going to take this Can Make eyeshadow base and apply this all over my eyelid. Taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow for today's look, so I'm going to apply this on my lid slightly past the crease line area and also on above the brow areas to give a really nice clean highlight look as well as on the inner corner. And by doing so, it will make the eyes look more awake. And also, I'm going to apply this under my eye bags area and this will give you more of that youthful look. I'm taking this light brown orangey color eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this on the outer V. From the individual eye squad eyeshadow from NYC, I'm going to take this orange color eyeshadow. And I'm going to intensify the color and applying this on the outer V and slightly blending it in and also bringing it down on the outer lower line. I'm going to blend the harsh line of the eyeshadows that I applied just now. And I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. Taking the Dolly Wink Liquid Liner, I'm going to line my eyes and I'm just gonna follow my eye shape. I'm not gonna do anything in particular like wing it at the end. I'm just gonna follow the eye shape so that it will look more natural. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just gonna line my eyes according to my eye shape. And next, don't forget to curl your lashes. Taking the Lash Perm 3 Step Volume Cara, I'm going to take the Step 1 and apply this on my eyelashes. Step 1 gives you very natural lashes but at the same time it volumizes, holds the curls and just lengthens. So I really like this mascara and I'm so happy that I discovered this. Next, I'm going to apply False Eyelashes. 
And I recommend any crisscross style for false eyelashes because it looks very natural and for this look we're going to aim for more of natural and very tangerine, very sweet look. So any type of natural looking false eyelashes would do but I got this one from imamoko.com so I'll link it down below where you guys can get this false eyelashes. Now onto my favorite part, I'm going to take this Jill Store Dual Cheek Blossom Blush in number 2 Sweet Mum. I'm gonna take this orangey tangerine color and I'm going to apply this on my cheek and work my way up to the temple. Okay, so last but not least, I'm gonna take this really beautiful coral color lipstick from Look At My Lips collection from Etude House. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and find this tutorial helpful. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe down there, which is Sadi Dahe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!